Welcome back dear friends. In this video I will talk about leopards. Please enjoy watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my video because this give me great support to produce more videos about animals adaptation. Leopards bodies have many adaptations that make them powerful hunters. They're muscular, sleek, fast, and strong, with enormous heads and jaws, sharp and strong canine teeth, and sharp claws for attacking their prey. Where do leopards live in the savannah? They can be found in a variety of habitats, including deserts and semi-deserts in southern Africa, arid regions in North Africa, savannah grasslands in East and Southern Africa, mountainous environments on Mount Kenya, and rainforests in West and Central Africa. In the savannah, what do leopards eat? While ungulates such as antelope, gazelles, and impalas are the carnivores' preferred food sources, they also eat a variety of other animals that may surprise us. The leopard's diet includes baboons, hares, rodents, birds, lizards, porcupines, warthogs, fish, and dung beetles. What are leopard's special features? The leopard is distinguished by its well-camouflaged fur, opportunistic hunting behavior, diverse diet, strength, and ability to adapt to a wide range of habitats, including arid and montane areas. It has a top speed of 58 km per hour, 36 miles per hour, 16 meters per second. The nine subspecies recognized by IUCN are African leopard Panthera pardis pardis. The African leopard Panthera pardis pardis is a subspecies of the leopard that is native to Africa. It is found throughout most of sub Saharan Africa, but its historical range has been fragmented due to habitat conversion. The Indian leopard Panthera pardis fusca is a leopard subspecies found throughout the Indian subcontinent. Since 2008, the IUCN has classified Panthera pardis as near threatened due to population declines caused by habitat loss and fragmentation, poaching for the illegal trade of skins and body parts, and persecution due to conflict situations. Apart from the Asiatic lion, Bengal tiger, snow leopard, and clouded leopard, the Indian leopard is one of five big cats found in India. The Arabian leopard Panthera pardis nimmer is a leopard subspecies native to the Arabian Peninsula that has been listed by the IUCN as critically endangered since 1996. In 2006, it was estimated that less than 200 wild individuals remained alive. The population is extremely dispersed. Subpopulations are isolated and have a maximum size of 50 mature individuals. The population is thought to be steadily declining. One of the smallest leopard subspecies is the Arabian leopard. Genetic analysis of a single captive leopard from Israel of South Arabian origin, which appeared most closely related to the African leopard, tentatively confirmed it as a distinct subspecies. The Persian leopard Panthera pardis ciscorcasica sin. Panthera pardis saxicola is the largest leopard subspecies native to the Caucasus region, southern Turkmenistan, northern Iran, and parts of western Afghanistan. The IUCN red list classifies it as endangered. The population is estimated to be between 871 and 1290 mature individuals and is thought to be declining. Leopards may also be found in northern Iraq. A phylogenetic analysis indicates that the Persian leopard is matrilineally related to a monophyletic group that split from an Asian leopard group in the second half of the Pleistocene. The North Chinese leopard Panthera pardis japonensis, also known as the North China leopard, is a subspecies of leopard native to northern China. There are no wild population data available. The Amur leopard Panthera pardis orientalis is a leopard subspecies found in southeastern Russia's Primary region and northeast China's Jilin province. The IUCN has listed it as critically endangered since 1996. Only 19 to 26 wild Amur leopards were estimated to survive in 2007. According to World Wildlife Fund data, there are approximately 70 adult Amur leopards in the wild today. According to a more recent study, there are fewer than 60 Amur leopards. The Far Eastern leopard is another name for the Amur leopard. The Indo-Chinese leopard Panthera pardis delicori is a subspecies of leopard found in mainland Southeast Asia and southern China. 
Leopards are rare outside of protected areas in Indochina and are threatened by habitat loss due to deforestation. The Javan leopard Panthera pardis mellis is a subspecies of leopard that is restricted to the Indonesian island of Java and has been listed as critically endangered by the IUCN since 2008. The population is estimated to be less than 250 mature individuals, with a downward trend in population. The total remaining habitat area is estimated to be between 2,267.9 and 3,277.3 square kilometers, 875.6 to 1,265.4 square miles. The Alas Perwo National Park in East Java has the most of these big cats, with at least 100 individuals recorded in 2014. The Sri Lankan leopard Panthera pardis cotia is a leopard subspecies that is found only in Sri Lanka. The population is classified as endangered by the IUCN and is thought to be declining due to a variety of threats such as habitat loss and fragmentation, as well as, to a lesser extent, poaching for trade. What are five adaptations of a snow leopard? Snow leopards have a well-developed chest that allows them to draw oxygen from the thin mountain air. Snow leopards have short forelimbs with large paws, long hind limbs, and a meter-long thick tail. These adaptations help them balance on their home's rocky precipices. Snow leopards are well adapted to their high-altitude habitats, which can include deep snow and rocky terrain with little vegetation. Snow leopards have a well-developed chest that allows them to draw oxygen from the thin mountain air. Snow leopards have short forelimbs with large paws, long hind limbs, and a meter-long thick tail. These adaptations help them balance on their home's rocky precipices. Cold adaptations include an enlarged nasal cavity, which allows them to warm the cold air about to enter their lungs. Long body hair with a dense, woolly underfur and a thick tail that can be wrapped around the body are two other adaptations for cold. The snow leopard's pelage allows it to blend in with its surroundings. Their broad feet function as snowshoes. How does a leopard adapt in the desert? Its large chest allows it to get enough oxygen from the thin mountain air, and its large nasal cavities aid in warming the air before it reaches the lungs. The leopard's massive paws and extra long tail aid in its balance on rocky terrain, and its long, thick coat keeps it warm in freezing temperatures. What are the two leopard adaptations? Leopards have a diverse diet and are highly adaptable. They are nocturnal predators capable of hunting and carrying their prey into trees. Leopard's spotted coats provide camouflage and help protect them from predators and scavengers who want to steal their prey within the tree canopy. The majority of leopards are light-colored with dark spots on their fur. Leopards can be found all over the world, including sub-Saharan Africa, Northeast Africa, Central Asia, India, and China. Leopards are fast cats that can run at speeds of up to 58 km per hour. 10 Leopard Facts Find out all about leopards. They're fierce, fast and ferocious. Leopard Facts 1. The majority of leopards are light-colored with dark spots on their fur. These spots are known as rosettes because they have the shape of a rose. There are also black leopards, whose spots are difficult to see due to the dark fur. 2. Leopards can be found all over the world, including Sub-Saharan Africa, Northeast Africa, Central Asia, India, and China. 3. Leopards are fast cats that can run at speeds of up to 58 km per hour. They're also extremely springy, with the ability to leap 6 meters through the air, the length of three adults lying head to toe. 4. Leopards are extremely solitary and spend the majority of their time alone. They each have their own territory and scratch the bark of trees. Urine scent marks and poop to warn other leopards to stay away. Males and females will cross territories, but only to mate. 5. These big cats eat a variety of foods and enjoy different types of grub. Bugs, fish, antelope, monkeys, rodents, deer. In fact, pretty much any available prey. 6. Leopards are skilled climbers who prefer to spend the day resting in tree branches. They are also strong beasts, capable of carrying their heavy prey up into the trees, preventing scavengers such as hyenas from stealing their meal.
Leopards are nocturnal animals that are active at night when they go in search of food. They spend most of the day sleeping, camouflaged in trees or hiding in caves. 8. These big cats are experts when it comes to hunting for food. When a leopard sees a potential meal, it approaches with its legs bent and its head low to avoid being seen. It then stalks its prey carefully and quietly until it is within 5 to 10 meters of it. Then, strike. The leopard charges forward and bites its victim in the throat or neck. Small prey, such as small birds or mice, will be killed by the feline's paw. Ouch. 9. Female leopards can give birth at any time of year, and they usually have two or three cubs. Mothers stay with their cubs until they are about two years old, at which point they become independent. 10. Leopards communicate with one another using distinct calls. A male, for example, will make a horse, raspy cough to alert another leopard to his presence. They also growl when angry and purr when happy and relaxed, just like domestic cats. Isn't he adorable? Do leopards eat elephants in the savanna? Leopards don't eat elephants. Leopards mostly eat deer, gazelle, and smaller hoofed animals, or even monkeys and birds. Where do leopards sleep? Leopards typically rest during the day in bushes, rocks, caves, or even higher up in a tree, depending on their habitat. Leopards are the most arboreal of the large cats, with long tails that help them balance on narrow tree branches. What keeps leopards warm? The snow leopard has soft, dense fur that thickens in the winter to keep the cat warm. How does a leopard defend itself against danger? Leopards avoid other predators by hunting at different times of day than other predators. To avoid predation, they not only hide in trees but also flee into them. They can run up to 36 miles per hour, bound 20 feet forward, or jump 20 feet to catch prey or avoid predators. Do leopards eat crocodiles? Leopards in Africa and Asia are unlikely to target crocodilians as frequently as some jaguar populations, which can rely heavily on caimans. However, photographic evidence from 2002 shows a leopard tackling and killing a young crocodile in the Kruger National Park. Do leopards consume giraffes? Giraffes may be preyed upon by lions, leopards, spotted hyenas, and African wild dogs. Thank you for watching my video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like to this video.